Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for April 9th through the 15th. Generally my readings are love readings, so we will see whatever comes up. We're going to get one of these oracle cards and reveal it at the end and then we will break right into that tarot deck. Generally my readings will resonate with people that watch me the most you know that I am connected to my tribe if you are new it may not resonate right now because we may not have connected so if you continue to watch that's when we will probably connect better okay Aries what do we have for the sign of Aries for April 9th through the 15th? What does Aries need to know? Aries. time to release and let go okay it's time to let go of something that you don't really need to have it's just it's, it's kind of like an obsession or something material that you, you just don't need maybe it's costing you too much money maybe you're not um, investing in something that you or you are investing in something that you shouldn't be okay this card is telling me that you need to let go of holding on to something that doesn't really serve you. Yeah, there's materialistic things here, okay? This right here is some somebody, and this is probably you taking on this energy. It could be somebody you're dealing with. Somebody who is only focused on their um, money, okay? They're not focused on love. They're not focused on, you know, building something up, building something emotionally. They're only work focused on building something um materialistic okay now this could be somebody who's only focused on their job focused on their work focused on their career focused on everything but love okay so there is an element of unhappiness here because I don't see the love okay maybe you guys are having memories of your past okay either there could be some you could be dealing with children and maybe that's why you're only focusing on money at this time maybe you're not really looking for love because you have children you know and I have to I have to provide for them that could be the case trying to avoid disaster so maybe you are holding on to something that doesn't serve you because you're trying to avoid a financial disaster of some sort Yeah, you guys may feel like, you know, you don't have enough money or you're not making enough money or you don't have enough to be abundantly secure. You know, I feel like you guys need to This right here is like unstable and insecure financially but I don't think you are I think that's just a feeling I think that you this is kind and this energy is greedy and reversed it is it's somebody that is greedy they have enough but they think they need more and I'm just telling you what this says this ten of pentacles reversed is, is like I think there's some family feuds going on. There could be some family feuds going on in regards to money and the children. Maybe it has to do with child support. I don't know. There's some kind of feuding going on because of the money. Maybe somebody doesn't want to give the money. You know, they don't want to pay their share. Here we have some kind of wake-up call.
This this week is definitely about money. It is. It's about money. I think that there's a lack of passion in regards to love. You know, there's no growth in regards to a loving relationship because somebody is working on everything but love. Okay? I feel like somebody is following their own path. Um, maybe going through some sort of financial struggles on... And I think these financial struggles have to do with children, you know. I feel like you may be feuding with another person over money in regards to your children, okay. So I think that's part of the case here, all right. I feel like somebody is holding on. They're holding on. And, and you know, there could be some legal issues. There could be some legal issues, you know, that come up because of this not wanting to pay the money or not wanting to get the money or give the money or something like that. I think there's money issues this week where somebody doesn't want to pay up and somebody's not going to give up, okay? So I definitely feel like this has to do with, with children this week. And somebody's unhappy about the amount of money that something is, is costing, okay? Um, and they're trying to avoid some sort of disaster or sacrifice, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to sacrifice my money. I don't. I don't want to sacrifice my money, even for the children. So this could be you or somebody else. Somebody doesn't want to pay up financially. And I feel as though this is a huge wake-up call, isn't it? It is. This is there is some sort of wake-up call here in regards to... Um, whoever you're dealing with. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who has their own idea of of how this should go and they're not they're not ready to to give. Okay? So there's definitely an element of unhappiness here and a lot of feuding going on with another person in regards to finances. All right? Um, you know, and it's a fact of life. Not every week can be great, right? So I feel like you are being called to really educate yourself in this matter. Educate yourself into what you can get and what you can give. And make sure you know all the facts before you um, communicate with whoever this is. Get down to the to the bottom of things. And don't, don't give, uh, put all your, you know intentions out there for them to to hear because I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very greedy and they don't want to give okay they don't want to give you're dealing with somebody who does not want to give now if this isn't children it could be somebody from your past that is trying for a second chance okay this could be, because uh, this could be somebody from your past who wants a second chance, but they really have no passion. They could be, they really have no passion for you. They could be coming in just for financial support, you know, that they want you to support them financially. So just beware, okay? Somebody could come in because you can support them, all right? Keep that in mind, too. Whoever this person is that you're dealing with, they aren't happy. They're not a happy person, okay? Um... Yeah, they're dishonest. You're dealing with somebody who doesn't want to, who isn't playing fairly. Um, they're not, they don't want to be held accountable. They don't want to pay up. And they are not telling the truth. Okay? And I believe that this could definitely lead to something legal. There could be some sort of divorce or child support that somebody is fighting about paying they don't want to pay it they don't want to give it something like that and you're dealing with it this could certainly be a week where you're dealing with some legal issues and you're dealing with some lies somebody's going to do whatever they can do to i can try to think of the system you know to mess with the system to go against the system you know what i mean to try to get out of paying to try to get out of their doing their part so whether it's you or the other person somebody doesn't want to do their part okay somebody doesn't want to cooperate and co compromise okay so you're dealing with somebody who is doesn't want to be held accountable 
they're totally going to be dishonest to get out of it. So you're dealing with a dishonest person. Now this could be, you know, go many, many ways because there's so many people watching this. For many of you, you have some sort of legal matters and you're dealing with somebody who is going to lie through the skin of their teeth or whatever you want to call that. They're, they're totally going to lie to get out of paying any money or more money or whatever. So beware that you're going to have to be on your toes. Do your homework absolutely do your homework because you're dealing with somebody who is quite um a bullshitter okay so make sure you do your homework if this is in regards to a loving relationship you could have somebody who wants to come back from your past that is also a bullshitter so just keep that in mind yes i mean whatever this is there's lies here there's lies there's betrayal there is um Somebody that is reluctant to move forward. They're reluctant to see a new approach. They're reluctant to give. Okay. And there's a lot of conflicts here that. Someone is turning a blind eye to the truth. Okay. They don't want to accept the truth. They don't want to see the truth. And I think it's somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody is being dishonest. There's no doubt about it. They are totally in a hurry they're they're very impulsive they um totally talk without thinking so i feel like you are dealing with somebody who doesn't care if they hurt you in the process as long as they don't have to pay up so they may say whatever they got to say to lies i feel like you're dealing with somebody that is a complete liar and they will do whatever they can to get out of doing their part so, you know, keep that in mind. I'm sorry to bring you this message, but um, you could be, somebody could be trying to take advantage of you. Um, but they could get caught, okay? So rest assured that they absolutely could get caught. The truth will probably come out because of their stupidity. Okay, you're dealing with somebody who doesn't think before they talk, so they could probably dig their own grave. So just just let them spell off at the mouth. Sit back, do your homework, be quiet, be the one that is stable and secure and, and quiet, okay? Just, just sit back and let them um, bury themselves. So it appears to me that, you know, it's time for you to just accept this change. It's time for you to take the next step. It's time for you to bring balance back to your life, okay? There's going to be some ups and downs. Just be adaptable through this, whatever's happening. You just go with the flow. Do the best that you can. Okay, um, this definitely does have to do with money and, and transferring money from one person to another and somebody is going to fight it to the bitter end, but their lies are absolutely going to come out. So I suggest you will be the victor. So just sit back, sit back and, and, and let them be their own demise. Okay, because they're going to get caught. I feel like it's time for you to just sit back, relax. Keep to yourself and let this play out, okay? There could be somebody, either this is court-related, children-related, or somebody from your past coming into your life looking for financial stability. And you will be called to really sit back, assess the situation, don't talk so much, let their bullshit play out, and you will see the absolute truth, and everybody else will too, in no time. Okay, so I feel like this could be a little bit of a chaotic week in regard, and it all stems from money. Okay, somebody either doesn't want to pay up or they want your money. That's what I see. Sorry, this is not what you want to hear, but it's a fact of life. Okay, people go through periods of lessons you know we all learn lessons all the time and a lesson here is to sit back and watch <laughs> okay don't engage because this person is totally going to get caught lying peace 
I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. And you do that, okay? You stay at peace while this person is being impulsive and talking out their ass and saying things that they don't even mean, okay? So you just stay in a peaceful state of mind and you will be the victor. So what I feel like this week is that there's a potential for somebody to either come in and try to use you or this is a court situation or a legal situation where somebody doesn't want to be held accountable for their part in the in the dynamics you know they don't want to pay up but the fact of the matter and they'll do anything there, there's lies here a lot of them somebody is telling lies and they're going to get caught either by you or the other people involved okay the truth is going to come out and you will be the victor okay so this is what I have this is what I got talk to you later